Hi, Shawnee. Uh, it's Larry. Greetings from Oregon. Um, I, I was totally impressed with that 400, especially in the rain. Uh, what did Coach uh, say to you afterwards? Uh, any what were his thoughtful comments? Ah, he was really happy with it. Um, you know, just not just with my performance, but also with Lena's performance. Um, we both went out there and we, we um, handled business well, we think. And um, it was all about just setting it up and, and getting the job done. And yeah, he was really, really happy with it and really happy with where we were at in that moment. Um, obviously, the strength is there. And so, yeah, we're just going to use that as progression. Johnny, the, the follow up is um, you were talking about how the, the 400 helps you in the 200. Um, and now you're going to be focusing on speed work. So should we understand that really up until this time, uh, all these fantastic performances this year have been off a lot of strength work? Yeah, yes, definitely. Um, we, we know that's a very important um, key to hold on to. Uh, obviously, my, my last 50 is always so strong because of the, the 400 work that we've been doing. And so we didn't want to let loose of that. And so, yeah, we've been doing a lot of strength work and now we're, we're kicking into speed now. Shawnee, so I'm curious, um, you've raced well at the 200 this winter, uh, 400, and obviously great uh, runs at both the 200 and 400 with world leaders. What's your perfect race distance? Is it 250 meters? Is it 300 meters? Is it 200 meters? What, where do you think, what's your perfect one? Oh, oh that, that's a hard one. I, I would say it would be between the 250 or the 300. Um, in training, my favorite runs are the 250. So I think I'll, I'll go with the 250 at this point. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I always like to ask you this one. Um, so end of the season, or do we have to wait for a few years to see you do a multi-event? I'm actually going to ask Coach to do one next season. So cool. I just want to make sure that we get past the Olympics first, and then next season, sure. definitely looking at it. Now, have you done all the events in the HEP? I, I've done just about everything growing up. The only one I mm -hmm. haven't done was javelin, and I think that's going to be my downfall. But <laughs> I will have fun with it regardless. Cool. That's really awesome. Thank you very much. So, Shawnee, I'm going to make you the producer of a major TV network for a day. <laughs> and if you were in charge of track and field on TV, could you give us a suggestion on what you would do to give women's track and field the respect? that you feel it deserves um you know i i feel like there's there's so much different steps that that can be made to um put women more in the map especially in track um it's always been more of a male generated sport um, where the focus has always been on the males um but i think it's just about sharing the stories um of the females and um, letting our presence be seen and uh um, letting us be heard as well and um, just putting putting a stamp on us for for now and just letting us show what, what we can do as well.